Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Champions League Fantasy Football. Now, I was going to post this video on a Monday, but there were some uh, injury news, and I basically needed to do an additional uh, research before I make any kind of transfers. So, yeah, um, like, as always, please, please follow me on Twitter. That's where I will upload my uh, final team. It's where you will see uh, like my final kind of like transfer thoughts as well and so on. And there's a lot of people there that might help your team out as well. Now, as you can see from match day two, 69 points. I activated the wild card and um, it's actually a decent score. And again, they're missing that one player to get me up to that 70 mark, but it is fine. And uh, it's a decent score, but looking at my Twitter feed, it's not as good as I thought it is. Um, but I'm actually happy, so, you know, I wanted to wildcard early, I was looking at match day three, and I looked at the players that I wanted, and it's pretty much the similar players that I wanted for match day two anyway, so that's why I activated it, and uh, for match day three, I'm basically going to bring in, like, um, Barcelona or Chelsea players into this team to make it even more stronger, so that's the plan, and uh, yeah, 69 points. Haaland uh, was my second captain option. Um, Lewandowski here didn't bring any uh, returns, which is a shame because he is a goal-scoring machine. Uh, Zabata here with two goals. This is one of the players that I actually transferred in in the last minutes. Uh, I just needed a, a player that could get me a lot of goals. Uh, one of the biggest disappointments of my transfers were Bruno Fernandes was on the bench and only played 22 minutes although he came on and, and got an assist it's still not enough for 9.5 player I don't I think there's quite a lot of rotation going on uh with Manchester United in the Champions League so that's kind of a concerning I think that he will play but I I, I don't like the fact that uh like I don't want to be worried about my player if he's going to play or not and for the midfielders, not really big returns. But like I said, the defence is the way to go. It's the defenders and the strikers is is the way to go here. You know, Hummels, Gomez, Pavard, um, Diego Carlos. Brilliant, brilliant points. Um, Hummels is doubtful, so I do need to get rid of him. Um, Gomez, eight points. This balls are recovered racks up a lot of a lot of points which is fantastic i mean if you look at hummus right here 15 balls recovered that's five points that is really really good um and yeah def definitely guys defenders is the way to go and and like maybe like um central defensive midfielders that is around 4.5 or something like that they, 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 they could get points without scoring or assisting which is which is great so i might need to change the way uh, I kind of like have these players here. There's more of attacking midfielders. But um, 69 points. These are some of the transfers that I did. Um, it, it's, it's not too bad. If we look at the league, as you can see, we've got, I think we've got around 1,000. Yeah, 1,000 in my league, which is great. Uh, I'm 281. Not, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm around uh, 57k which is decent um i'm getting i'm trying to like hit to that 5k mark finish and hopefully i can i can do better um and if we look at my team setup for match day three i have made no transfers yet but i am going to do some transfers and i need your help i need your help for like a one of the positions now this is my setup um Lewandowski, uh, i just had to quickly have a look actually hang on look um Bruno Fernandes is playing on a Wednesday. There we go. Um, and he's playing Sevilla. I just need to make sure. you got to do this, guys. Always look on when your players are playing. If they're playing on a Wednesday, just put as much as you can on the subs so you can, like, transfer them in. Um, so, yeah. Um, Lewandowski is going to be my captain. And then it's probably going to be Haaland. But if I bring Messi, the Messi will be my captain for the Wednesday game. Uh, good good fixture for for Barcelona um but yeah I, I'm gonna make some transfers and I need your help as well so um Sevilla's got a fantastic fixture we got uh now Gomez I think Liverpool will concede so 
not really certain on the Liverpool keeping a clean sheet. Uh, we've got the Atletico Felipe here to kind of help me out. Uh, that is 4.5, a decent fixture for him as well. And Pavard, we've got Coleman, we've got uh, Lewandowski, so three of the Bayern Munich players. We've got three Dortmund, but I do need to remove Hummels for someone like Zuma, like from Chelsea. And uh, there, there's a... Uh, and Bruno Fernandes, I guess I made a mistake here. And uh, I do want to use his money to kind of upgrade or change my players around. And I don't know what you think. Please let me know in the comments below. But this is what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking to remove the Atalanta um, striker. And I want to bring in Messi. Then I can then I have a great captain option there. And as you can see, 2.5. And I can just remove a Bruno Fernandes. And I have 7 million. Now, I need your help of giving me a player that is around... Uh, let's just say 7.5 because I think I'll be able to get like a, a 0 0.5 uh, but, but let me know if there's any a good midfielder that I can bring in to get me a decent amount of points uh, let me know if there's any like good like a team's got has got a really good fixture um, but for now I am looking to remove Hummels because it looks like he is out and I bring in a player like Azuma and as you can see, I still need, yeah, I've got 7 million there. Now, I could, I could take a hit. I could take a hit if I wanted to. I could go for a Manchester City player. Um, they've got a really good fixture against Olympiacos. And uh, I'm looking at Sterling or Kevin De Bruyne. Let's just see, I'm uh, bringing Sterling. I've got uh, 4.7. Then with that 4.7, I can get a player that racks up a lot of our balls recovered. So if I just change this like this, you're going to see some midfielders here. I mean, there we go here. 4.5 is what, exactly what I need. So I can do something like this. Um, like, is that a better option? You know, we've got Messi and Sterling at home. Instead of Coleman and, and uh, Atalanta striker. I'm doing. I'm taking a lot of risk here, um, and I think maybe just keeping Coleman, and this should be fine. Something like this, and maybe upgrade someone else later on in uh, match day four. But I do want to get Messi. But let's just say, like you guys say, no. You know what? You don't need to get Messi. You'd be you'd be fine with um, where is this guy? So let's go to total points. Uh, when I, I need a Barcelona player, so that, that's going to definitely help me out. There we go, Andrew Fatty. Let's just remove Coleman there. What about, what about something like this? And then uh, if I just do this, Bruno Fernandes. So I, I keep Bruno Fernandes. I get a Barcelona player cover. I've got uh, Zuma just for the defensive um, change because of the injury. So, what do you think about this then? I have I keep Bruno Fernandes. That is 9.5. And I get one of the Barcelona player. I've got another transfer that I could make. But this is what I'm thinking. I'm not thinking to change too much. Um, because I'm pretty happy with the team. I'm happy with my defence. So, that is what I'm thinking. If I don't do this, maybe Coleman is just way, way, way too much. Um, and... Uh, yeah, maybe that's the problem there. The Coleman, and uh, but then then uh, then my then my midfielders become a little bit more weaker like this. Hmm, interesting. And I think Bruno Fernandez. I think removing him, removing him because he's the yeah. If I remove him, then I have decent amount of money to kind of uh, get someone else. So I'm not sure who I'm going to go with. So yeah, you just just let me know in the comments below. But uh, I'll do my final kind of like transfers on my Twitter. Um, but I'm definitely going to go with... Um, definitely going to go with Messi. So I need to make that transfer um, later on. Uh, just in case like I find any more news. So this is pretty much it. If I bring in uh, Messi, then yeah, I'll definitely will captain him against Dynamo um, and uh, I, I, like if, you, if we're looking at these fixtures 
The players that I will definitely will concentrate and try and bring in um, from is a Sevilla and Chelsea. That's what um, the players, uh, teams that I will go for. Barcelona players, Juventus, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo is back. Uh, maybe I should just go for him or, or some kind of like a Juventus cover. That could be a better option there. Dortmund's got a fantastic fixture against Club Brugge. Uh, Manchester United. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know about Manchester United right now. Um, so maybe I'm just uh, being too, uh, trying to be too clever about it and trying to you know, you know, use the money elsewhere. I don't know. Maybe Bruno Fernandes is a, is a great option. And if we look at Manchester City, it's got a great fixture. So there's a couple of fixtures here that is looking good. But I do want a at least a Barcelona player. Maybe even two. Just let me know if, if I should just go for the two. If I do that, then I'll have to do something like this. And go for Andrew Fati. Where is he? There we go. And uh, remove. Actually, no, that's not going to work that well. 7 million but then I, I, I want to remove that defender so uh maybe yeah i'm not sure how many let me let's just have a quick look at barcelona see what kind of players that they have okay maybe can go something like this and maybe get like a 4 million um 4 million defender, then I can keep Bruno Fernandes. Hmm. That's not too bad as well. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, uh, Messi is that. I think I'm just going to be Messi. I'm just, yeah. I, I don't think I should just do anything else. I should just be Messi. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. I wanted to show you guys what my plans are. But follow me on Twitter. I have to do my research right in the last minutes of the deadline because we always seem to find some find some like extra news towards the end so yeah that is pretty much it thank you for joining guys hopefully that your guys you guys will have a fantastic match day three uh follow me on twitter for any kind of updates uh, subscribe if you're new and always always drop a like on the video and that is pretty much it thank you so much guys and i'll see you guys next time see ya